first of all, you need some drill coil with an orientation line, which, uh, without which, if you don't have an orientation line, obviously you don't know where it's sitting in the ground and where, where it is, if the downhole, uh, you need to know where the downhole is. So the direction on the side of the orientation line um, tells you where the bottom of the hole is, essentially. So without which, yeah, you can't orientate your coil. When you're measuring, making your measurement, uh, the top, the top of the chronometer, or you put the cap, the, the the core into the chronometer from the top with the down hole towards the, the head. There, so basically, basically your down hole uh, direction facing upward to the top. And then, basically, what you do is you find the structure within it. So here you can see there's some interesting um, structure ellipses here. Um, so basically what you do is you line up your zero uh, degree angle at the top with the top of an ellipse formation. So basically the, the zero lines up there so you can see the top of that or, or the bottom of that ellipse rather um, is, is lining up with your zero uh, degree marker on the on the head of the tool. So then, once that's lined up, basically you're just lining up that formation with the, the protractor angles down here. And basically that's giving you alpha, your alpha reading, which is your structure reading. So one, once that's lined up, that whatever that lines up with there, which in that specific example is somewhere around about 24, 25 degrees, it's following the line down there. Um, so that is your alpha angle. So then, for your for your beta angle, uh, that's just lining up with your orientation line. So basically, the, the the reference point is the the ellipse lining up with the zero. So then, if you rotate it around, you can see where the downhole orientation line is. That is your beta. And so in that one, it's. Uh, it's about 360, uh, sorry, 269 degrees on that particular example. I don't know if you can read that from that distance. But um, so basically wherever that line, that orientation line um, is lining up with, once you've orientated your ellipse with the zero, then this line becomes whatever that lines up with around there is your uh, beta angle. So that's your beta in, in this example about 270 degrees, 269, 270 degrees. Um, and then your, um, your alpha angle is there. Uh, in this example, uh, somewhere around about 24, 25 degrees. So that's how you do it.